Hey friends and welcome back and welcome if you are new. It's that time again, it's fall fashion and I'm so excited because fall fashion is the best fashion in my opinion. You talk about layering and colors and all kinds of really beautiful textures and fabrics. It's just the best, am I right? So not only is this fall season going to be the best, this is gonna be a really fun video for you because back by popular demand, we have the Parisian style 10 by 10 challenge. If you are new to this channel, maybe you haven't seen the video yet, so I'll link it in the cards above. But my good friend, Jessica Harumi and I decided to do a style challenge last spring, this past spring, and it was Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. So we took 10 articles of clothing and we decided to make 10 outfits for 10 days using those articles of clothing. And it was such a huge hit. People asked us to do it again. We wanted to do it again. It was just a really amazing exercise in how to fall in love with your clothing again and how to get brand new outfit ideas. So I'm really excited that Jessica and I are going to be hosting another challenge, another Parisian style 10 by 10 challenge starting today, the day that this video is released. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I just want to remind you that it helps the channel out so much when you subscribe and when you hit the bell notification. You can also skip ahead in the video if you want to skip this other kind of talking by clicking the chapters that are linked in the description box below. Oh, Okay, so if you're not familiar with Jessica, she is an amazing content creator and I feel stylist in her own right. I also consider her a good internet friend even though we've never met in person. I hope to someday. She is really fantastic at talking about how to create a sustainable, minimal capsule wardrobe. She's also really into natural beauty and really just offers incredible content on how to be more productive. So if you yourself are also looking into all of those things, I highly recommend checking out her channel. The capsule wardrobe has been, as a concept, has been around for, I would say, 30 plus years. And I'll, I'll link lots more information in the description box below so that I'm not gonna over talk it to death. But the the concept here is that you're going to use 10 articles of clothing to create 10 outfits for 10 days. This is really just like a subsection of what you currently have in your closet that's going to help you create new outfit combinations that you may not have thought of creating before and also help you to see that you need less really in your wardrobe to create more. I love this idea. So Lee Vosberg, I believe, is the creator of the 10 by 10 style challenge and I will link her information in the description box below as well. But this has really kind of taken on a, a whole community, a whole identity, its own. And if you are familiar with it on Instagram, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. But I have never really done a challenge before the one I did with Jessica in the spring. Not in earnest, but I fell in love with it because it showed me that the constraints of having 10 articles of clothing was actually one of the best things I could do to find just more inspiration for my wardrobe. I created outfits I have never created before and I was able to find 20 outfit combinations, maybe even more, just from 10 articles of clothing. And I will link that follow-up video that I did in the cards above as well. I think if you're on the fence about joining, I wanna say that just a couple of quick things. Anyone can join. You can be any age, you can be any background, any part of the world, and any size. It really doesn't matter. We had hundreds, I want to say hundreds of people participating in spring and there were so many beautiful outfits that were made and it just honestly, it felt, uh, it felt like a community that I have been missing for a long time on the internet. So a lot of like-minded people from lots of different backgrounds participated. So you can join, right? You can join. You don't have to have the perfect wardrobe to do this. Second of all, Parisian style, there are some classic pieces but this is highly subjective and it's really based upon what you currently have in your wardrobe. So I would say, take a look at what I've got, go check out Jessica's video, watch our past videos, go, you know, root around on Instagram by following that hashtag Parisian style 10 by 10, and you will find lots of inspiration because I think if you just take a, take a page from our books, their books, and go into your closet and kind of see, do I have anything that kind of resembles what they were using? I saw a lot of stripes, I saw trench coats, denim, I saw boots, blazers, lots of basics, lots of classic things that most people have in their wardrobes. But if you don't have those things, it's no worries. You can still do this, still encourage you to join. 
On that subject, how do you join the challenge? It's really easy. You can watch my video, watch Jessica's video right after this, or you might have already watched it depending on who you are and where you're from. Once you've got those videos down, you can just hop on over to our Instagram accounts and peruse, come say hi, give us a follow, and then you want to post one outfit photo a day for the next 10 days, October 29th, or September 29th to October 8th. Honestly, we had people jumping in midstream Stream. That was totally cool. We're happy to have you whenever you join and more details are on our Instagram account about how to join But we would love it if you showed up if you tagged us in your photos If you use the hashtag Parisian style challenge or Parisian style 10 by 10 rather and We can't wait to have you some of the feedback that we got was incredible Like I know for myself as I said the constraints of this challenge really made me feel so much more creative Some people said that they fell in love with their wardrobe again other people said that they discovered a whole new approach to their style some people just started sharing their style for the first time on Instagram and it really got them into a community so I've made good friends from doing this and I think it's not just about clothing it's also about just finding connection if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask you can ask in the comment section or in the dms on my instagram account or jessica's instagram account and now we're going to get into the pieces themselves and i will talk through what they are and why i chose them and i'm going to show you the outfits for the 10 days as well okay as with last time i am starting off with a basic t-shirt this is a graphic tee. You might recognize what this is if you follow me on Instagram, but here it is in the flesh. This is the Parisian Paris 66 t-shirt. I love to ask my clients what place and time would you choose to live as a way to kind of figure out what your fashion sensibility is. So Paris in the 60s is definitely a place and time for me, but this is based on a Francois Hardy t-shirt that I saw her wearing in some cool vintage pictures, uh, but I created this myself and it is available in my Etsy shop for the first time ever for you and I love 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 this tee and it goes with so many cool things so I can't wait to show you the outfits I styled with it but if you don't have a graphic tee a plain white t-shirt is great as well I think that's so versatile where would our Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe be without the Breton stripe top this is a lightweight thrifted top from the Gap and it's just a basic classic jersey material white with navy stripes. I really love the boat neck and I get so much wear out of this. I've had this for probably five or six years and I chose this one over this sweater because I felt like I was going to get more wear with it because this navy is very readable as black. So that's something to consider too. Not that you can't mix black and navy, which I'm going to be doing, but I do find when you've got a lot of navy like this, Sometimes it can be hard to style with black if you're going to do black top, black bottom, and a navy shirt. So that's something to think about. Not that it can't be done. Okay, my next piece is this beautiful thrifted Worthington blouse. I got this last week and it was such a find. So there was a Sandro blouse I was looking at that had a very similar collar and then Target just released a similar collar to this. This kind of is all the rage. So a romantic blouse for me is a staple. I wear this year round. So definitely had to be in my fall capsule wardrobe. Okay, the next thing, I'm kind of cheating here because this is a set, so I'm gonna count it as one. Please don't hate me. Uh, rules were made to be broken. But I think, it, I think I can get away with it. So this is a set I recently got. It's really nothing special. And I just wanted to try that trend out to see if I liked it. So I actually just recently got this from Ross. It is a blend. It's really not that great for you. I may return it, I may not. But I'm going to use the style challenge as a way to see if this is a trend I would like to take to the next level and maybe get something really nice like a cashmere set or a wool set. So that's something to consider too, to use your style challenge as. But it's got this knit sweater tank top and then a low cut knit matching cardigan in like this beautiful gray fabric. The next piece, we're moving into outerwear now. The next piece is this thrifted um, cropped bolero style jacket. This is from a brand called Wheaton and Katz Limited. It's a, I don't really know if this was a special thing back in the day, but it's got these really bizarre pockets on the front and super neat 
cuffs. I love this because it's really cropped bolero style and there was a picture from Mango where they just launched their fall collection and I loved this look that they did. I'll put it on the screen right now. And it just seemed like, okay, I need to pull that off because that's very, very, very pretty. I love the whole vibe of it. It's so intense, but in such a good way. So I raided my closet and I found this, which I've had for years and I've worn a few times. So I'm really glad to be getting some wear out of this piece. This is one of my most epic finds of all time. It's a three-piece suit, but I'm not going to feature the other two pieces. But this is a pinstriped double-breasted wool blazer from Ralph Lauren. And I really, I'm just in love with this piece. I feel like Whenever I want to feel super put together and super cool, I go to this blazer. I love thrifting because you can find the most beautiful quality things that you might never ever be able to afford unless you look to the thrift store. I think this is a staple forever and this will act as a outerwear piece for me as a coat because where I live, it is still cool slash warm. Now that's something you have to take into account wherever you live. You might want to go for a trench coat or a nice leather bomber jacket or a leather trench coat or something like that. Maybe a wool jacket would be really beautiful. Um, you got to make this work for you. And again, with layering, I decided to go for another blazer as an outerwear piece because I can layer up and be really warm here probably into November and even early December before I have to transition to actual coats. So this is a thrifted three button suit jacket from Harvey Bernard, or actually this is Larry Levine. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this. I've worn this for several years and it's got this beautiful green and maroon kind of gold, very autumnal colors. I had to include it. It looks so much like rouge, doesn't it? I think it's like kind of a dead ringer for a rouge blazer, in my opinion. And it's so much fun to style and wear as an actual jacket, as a coat. Really on trend for this year is leather. And I think if you don't want to go for leather pants or a leather skirt or leather shorts, you can definitely go for a leather jacket, which is one of the easiest things to incorporate into your wardrobe. But I actually have a thrifted leather skirt, a mini skirt. And this is from, let me see, Cache. So I found this a couple of years ago and I really love this skirt. It is the perfect fit. It's not too short. It is not too tight. It looks, you know, got that right semi A-line cut so it's not a pencil skirt, which I don't recommend getting a pencil skirt, a leather pencil skirt, unless it's like really, really, really top notch because sometimes it can look quite dated in 80s. But this was that perfect mini skirt style with that little bit of an A-line. And I'm gonna wear this a lot this year. I'm gonna wear it with tights and stockings, but not yet, not for the video, just <laughs> in the future. It's still a little too warm for stockings here, but I love this. And if you were into leather, you could easily go for a denim skirt would be really cute or a cotton linen skirt is still definitely acceptable or even a boiled wool skirt something that might match your blazer would be really cool making a comeback from the spring <laughs> edition the spring parisian style challenge are these super nifty high-waisted cotton pants from express they are the most lightweight comfortable pants i think i've ever owned in my life and yes they're still available so quick mention all the links to what I can provide you with will be in the description box below. So these are very versatile and not only did they work well for me in spring, they're gonna work great for me in fall. So I can't wait to wear these bad boys around. And then my final article of clothing are these sweet A Goldie jeans I recently got from Poshmark. And these are the perfect like mid, mid rise, slightly high rise, button fly classic jeans. They almost remind me of like what you would want a classic pair of Levi's to fit like. By far one of the best pairs of jeans I've ever owned. I absolutely adore these. I can't recommend them enough and I will link a pair in the description box below for you. Jeans are definitely a Parisian staple in my opinion. And for jewelry, I decided to keep it simple. I'm going to wear the same jewelry every day so I don't have to think about it. And I've got on a pair of Ana Luisa Huggies, a, my wedding rings a mango chain ring. I've got this Ana Luisa's, I think it's, I forget the name of the ring, but it's like a crisscross situation. Then I also found this super cool silver ring that's 
kind of Tiffany inspired at the thrift store recently. It's real silver. And then I'm going to be wearing my mom's gold chain necklace with the Ana Luisa heart necklace. So um, if you're into Ana Luisa, just a quick shout out, you can get 10% off your order. You can use the description link or link in the description box below to get 10% off if you want to snag something for yourself for fall. I think that's all of the pieces. Now let me just talk really quickly about the accessories. All right guys, so I've got here on my clothing rack some accessories. This is a thrifted find. This is a really beautiful hat that my mother-in-law bought for my birthday and I still haven't had a chance to wear it because it, you know, I never just got around to it, but it's so neat. It's handmade in Poland, I believe. And then I've got this recent thrift find, these really interesting sunglasses from a brand called D. Franklin, I think. Yeah, D. Franklin, and they really reminded me of Annie Hall, which is my vibe right now. I don't know, lenses were super cool, and I think they were only like $2.99, yeah, such a great find. Then I've got my Brie Emotions tote bag, which I'm so excited to finally launch. Uh, I thought that would also be really fun for the style challenge, because it really, that it goes off of that collegiate vibe. And then this is another thrifted piece that was $6.99. I just thought I'm a sucker for straw bag, so I had to have it. This is an old school thrift for me. This is like a very Chanel inspired Calvin Klein bag and my thrifted Dior scarf, which kind of never leaves the bag. And then another thrift find was this really cool beige baseball cap, $3.99. It is brand new, it's never been worn. It has a really beautiful brass closure on the back. Moving on to the footwear, I've got some more cool thrifted pieces to show you all. These are thrifted tree torns. Um, they were a few bucks, I think only like $6.99, $9.99. Um, tree torns is a classic tennis shoe brand. These beauties here are like a riff off of the Rouge Mule and a riff off of the Musier Mule. I think I'm saying that right, Musier, Musier. They're suede from J. Crew. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. They may not be practical for like flip flopping around with the, a heel. These beauties here are a fantastic Poshmark find. They are casteners. They came brand new in the box with the beautiful ribbon. Always recommend to size down with castaner because your little foot needs to be snug in here. So I got a 36 even though I'm a six and a half. These may keep, may not. These are funky. They're like a very 90s patent leather lace up heeled boot slash Oxford thing. They're from a Brand called Mix Number no. Six. Never heard of this brand before. I just thought they looked so funky and they really remind me of Robert Clergy, which, if you know Robert Clergy, you know what I'm talking about. These are fantastic. They're so comfortable, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. These are thrifted Matisse leather boot. I love these. They kind of remind me of Rouge. They kind of remind me of Rag and Bone. I just will never ever ever stop wearing these. Made in Brazil, 100% leather. This company still makes shoes, so you can still find their brand of shoes on the internet. And that, my friends, is all the beautiful, gorgeous accessories. Let's style some stuff.
Okay, that was amazing. That was so much information. I really hope you found that helpful. If you were excited about doing this style challenge, can you do me a huge favor? Invite a friend. Share this video with a friend. Share Jessica's video. Um, it helps us out so much, and it's not just about uh, helping us, but it's really so cool to see this community grow and grow and grow on Instagram. So the more people that are joining, the more inspiration we're going to get and the more community we'll have. Honestly, it's going to be so much fun and I can't wait to see you on Instagram. Be sure to check all the links in the description box below for Jessica's content, for my content, and for how to join the challenge. All right, you guys, let's do this. P.S. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you're most excited about for the Parisian Style 10x10 Challenge. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. We're going to crush it. I'll see you over on Instagram. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you again next time, okay? Bye!